The year was 2000. Humans had just survived Y2K. Blockbuster was still thriving, and Eminem had announced that he was in fact the real Slim Shady. But all those are nothing compared to what happened at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney, Australia. When you think of Olympic athletes, you think of the years they spent training, the dedication they had for the sport, and most importantly, their knowledge. But have you ever heard about the Olympic swimmer who learned how to swim the day before his first Olympic race? You probably haven't. Hi, my name is Mata Brar, and this is the show that I like to call The Blindsiders. Brought to you by AFK. The Olympics are the magnum opus of sports competition. Every year, you have athletes from sports that nobody cares about. Sorry, poodle clipping. Come and partake in competition for the world to enjoy. <coughs> Sorry, I have to interrupt real quick. Did you know that in 1900, there was an actual Olympic sport called poodle clipping? where people would try and race to see how many poodles they could trim in under two hours. Sorry I punched you in the face, I just had to talk about that real quick. Continue. Ow. Ow. That's alright. Let's talk about Olympic swimmer Eric the Eel Musambani. Eric Musambani hails from Equatorial Guinea. He was always seen as a young and athletic man. One day, news broke that Equatorial Guinea was looking for athletes to compete in the 100 meter freestyle at the Olympics. And despite not meeting any of the minimum requirements needed to compete in the Olympics, Eric was chosen. He hands out these things called wildcard. Or in underprivileged countries, the ability to compete in white people sports. Like putting India in skiing. Or like Jamaica with the bobsled team. It is important to note that at the time, Equatorial Guinea had no Olympic sized pools. So Eric was forced to train in the ocean. Oh my god, somebody help me, I cannot swim. I am drowning. Is that a shark? What? Fast forward a few months and Eric has reached Sydney. Most of us fear Australia because literally everything there can kill us. But Eric was scared for another reason. See, not only had he never seen an Olympic sized pool before, but he also didn't know how to swim. Yes, the Olympic swimmer who was competing in a swimming race did not know how to f***ing swim.